Howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome to a, a special time of Babble with Bronies. I am your host. My name is Everlasting Joy, along with my good friends, Mr. Ben and Twilight is Magic. We want to thank you for waking up early enough to stop on by as we interview the one and only Kuzong. Hello. <laughs> All right. Kind of like from last week, I'm going to basically show the art and um, everything from... Uh, let's get started is what I'm trying to say. First of all, like I said last week, we will BWB will be going on a hiatus for the entire month of August. Reason being is because between all the traveling I have to do, all of the things that I'm going to have to do for to get ready for school, and all of the stuff that Mr. Ben and Twilight is Magic have to do this month as well, it's just going to be a lot easier if we just go on a hiatus and um, resume at a later time. That later time being September 6th. We will resume broadcasting on September 6th. So, enjoy the month of, Sept of August off. So with that, you ready to dive into the art, everyone? Let's go to the art. How about, uh, let's see here. How about we go with this one? This All of these, except the comic, were Twilight is Magic recommendations. So you can thank him for all of these. And this first one by someone named Zooks25, titled... Oh, hello there. Kuzan, you can find it here in Skype. The link to it. All right. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Quote, Haven't drawn our favorite book princess in a while, so here we are. I realize that a lot of my pony stuff is same hat. I just has to do with why I tend to draw ponies for the most part. I do it to smile and cheer myself up. This is the reason I end up drawing pinky or simply smiling ponies most of the time. So sorry if pinky and generic smiles take over my pony stuff. End quote. Anything you want to say about this? Start things off? Kuzong? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything you uh, want to say to, um, to this piece to start it off? In terms of critiques? Yeah, sure. Um, it's pretty good. Like, it's... It's a sketch uh, with... Pretty much like uh, really good, pretty good uh, rendering. I have to say, although um, this is not necessarily like the he he's not really intended to one hundred percent copy the show style, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not a bad yeah. thing. I some yeah, I, always, I, know. I always tell my audience I don't I love it when someone does their own style, so long to an extent, of course. But generally speaking, I enjoy it when they get a little bit more creative. I like it when they say, you know what? I can make it look better. Well, that's up to the audience otherwise to um, determine. I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I mean, uh, what catches me in this drawing is like the, the rendering of the sketch is pretty good, pretty, pretty decent. And like, it's not necessarily like over, overworked. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's pretty. Uh, as far as I can tell, he's pretty loose on on his process. So it's, yeah, I like it. I like the fact that he did this completely in pencil. I I've, I like mm -hmm. them because it's scary good to see someone say, you know what, I'm just going to use a pencil. That's it. So, bam. Here it is. They do great shading, great lighting. 
they know what they're doing with that pencil. It's wonderful. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Ben. Let's move on. How about this next one? By Hol Holivy, titled Ripe Apples. It's early morning, folks. For me, anyway. There it is for you. I saw this one from Tim, and it was like, that's it. We're done here. Get, getting this one in. Quote. Oh, this this guy. Yeah, I, I know this guy. Well, no of him. Him I or never, her? Go ahead. I never did because uh, until Twilight is Magic threw, threw this picture at me. But it was like, oh, sorry. We're done. We're watching. We're finished here. Pack up. <laughs> Yeah, Hulivi, uh, she's a really good artist. Like, uh, in her, in her digital style and rendering, like, I love it. I, I really want to learn uh, how to do this rendering style. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, yeah, how he does it in digital, I don't know if it's Photoshop, I guess. Although I currently, I'm currently using Sai for my drawings, but. If she do, if she do, if she did this in Photoshop, like, wow, it's really good. It's scary watching people use Photoshop to make their art. I say that because, um, of course, Photoshop. How do I put this? The original intent was, of course, as its name implies, just for photographs. It was just, oh, you know, touch up here, fix that, done. One, two, three, and yet I watch people like, well. Toxic Mario or um, other artists use Photoshop or, yeah, Paint Tool Sci. And mm -hmm. um, the way they bend everything, the tools to fit their needs is scary, but amazing. Yeah. It's really good. Actually, I look up to this guy, uh, to this uh, artist. When I see like painter painterly styles, I would usually go over her, go over her gallery and just like be at off. <laughs> and how well she, he uh, on how well she renders everything. Like, mm -hmm. wow. Quote: I love the scenes of everyday life. End quote. One thing I want to note is partially. How do I put this? You're right. The rendering, I'll say that, or the styling, or however you want to put it. What I like about this is this watercolor-esque paintings like these. I love these because they're so kind of hard to put in words here, but lighthearted, I guess. I, I have not seen, and I know they exist, shut up. But I don't think I've ever really come across a watercolor painting that's so dark that it's scary. So to have these bright, fun designs like this is always fun to see. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I got cut off. Yeah, a little bit, but you're back now. Yeah, and so yeah, she's really good. One of my, uh, I look up to this. I look, I, what name? I look up to this artist whenever, like, if I want to see more like painterly styles. Yeah, she's my go-to <laughs> artist. Besides, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Fargalex, Sam Miller. Yeah, other than <clears throat> him, Halivi. Yeah. You have to send me a link to his page when you're when we're done here, but for now let's move on. Uh -huh. These next two are by Soul Addicted. They're I'm going to show them both at the same time, and you'll see why. And that's you know fine, but these next two are by Soul Addicted, titled "Fancy" and "The Nerdy One."
Here's Fancy. And the nerdy one. I'm going to start with Fancy since I brought that up first. <laughs> Realistic rendering of horses. And yet they work wonderfully. Great, quote unquote. <laughs> and yeah. Starting with this rarity one, I like what he did with her hooves. Uh, okay, he did that with Twy as well, but for rarity. It really works partially because she's, you know, white and purple. Those are her two big color schemes. So, um, there's that to be had. But, I like it. I really do. Yeah, this is rendered, rendered in colored pencils, right? Um, by the looks of things, yeah. Traditional art, drawings. So, yeah, that's, it, it's that up. It's a possibility. Yeah, it looks great. I have nothing to add with this. Like, okay. Yeah, I just find it funny, like yung, uh, those like styles where they try to make parang semi-realistic renditions of of the main six, like or mm -hmm. any the 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 I mean, the standard. Uh, Friendship is magic style, and they just like mix it up with like uh, realistic proportions. Like, <laughs> yeah, I find it fascinating. Fascinating. Some make it work really well, like this. Going to the nerdy one. Damn it! Those glasses are, look so cute on her. <laughs> Gazoon tight. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, nothing. To, um, my comments is, is the same with this one. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Also, I love the way he captured Twilight's position, as in the sense of it looks like she, it's in motion, that she's turning to see something, and the way Soul Addicted made her main flow is wonderful. It's a great pose and Twilight looks good with it. Yep. Yeah, nothing to add here. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm checking uh I'm checking his uh gallery. Like yeah, she's a He's a talented artist. Like majority of his uh, drawings are in colored pencil, I guess. Mm -hmm. And as far as I can tell, like he's really good in his control when he applies the colors. I say like the hard thing about colored pencils is pressure. I say you don't want to push uh, push the colored pencils too hard that it will like put too much wax on the paper and yep. you can you'll be unable to mix it up with other colors. The reason why I know this because I'm horrible at colored pencils. <laughs> yeah, All I can't right. I can't I can't render in colored pencils even if I'm paid by Lauren Faust. <laughs> I'm going to destroy that drawing he drew, uh, I'm going to destroy whatever sketch he asked me to draw. <laughs> That's why I go to digital. <laughs> hey, it works wonders. All right, yeah. let's move on to our last piece, the comic. This is Doritos, Silly Lyra, Bon Bon OP, Nerf Plex. Oh, it's Nerf. Uh, I'm sorry, please Nerf. Not Nerfplex. 
I hang around on the PC too much. All right. Kuzong, we have a bit of a tradition here on um, when it comes to our comics. We do uh -huh. read them. And we tend to assign roles to them. So we have both Sweetie, uh, Agent Sweetie Drops and Lyra. Do you want to read one of these characters? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I guess, I don't know. I'm not really good into like acting though. <laughs> you don't have to be. I mean, that's kind of half the charm is the terrible acting that we do. So like, like I said, if you're interested, by all means, if not, I will read them both. Yeah, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Now, bear in mind, folks, I it's been a little while since I saw episode 100, so I know I'm going to botch the names. Or, um, voices. So work with me here for a second. Lyra, where are you? Lyra? Hey, Bon Bon. So, you're a secret agent now, huh? I still don't believe you, so you can prove it. I am hiding somewhere. Those are treats to pizza. <laughs> Click. And there's a BB gun. Eat this! They don't call me Sweetie Drops for nothing. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you have some pizzas to order? <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I saw this one and I thought, oh, this so has to go in. Because... I'm going to say this right now, folks. The whole secret agent Sweetie Drops thing, you got me. You, you've sold me, Mr. Larson. You really have. So, with that in mind... Um, <laughs> I, is that is that Larson's fault? Yes, for, that is. For making sweet, Bon Bon to some, to some secret agent? Yep. I was like... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> They call her Sweetie Drops because she done Sweetie Dropped you, son. Oh! Mr. Ben. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Wrecked. Yeah, this one was a lot of fun. It just fell under. It's fun. It's silly. It's perfect. In terms of the story, this so has to go in. All right. That's all for the arts. So, Kuzong, are you ready? Uh huh. Then let yeah, us sure. begin. So to start off, I always like to start my interviews with what I like to call the first five questions. Please, for uh -huh. the please, for the record, state the name you wish to be addressed by during this interview. Your job in relation to ponies. Your favorite episodes from the um, <laughs> your favorite episodes from Friendship is Magic. Your favorite character from Generation Four, and if applicable, your character from any generation. I'll don't worry, I'll repeat them. So just start with the name you wish to be addressed by. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. First of all, uh, I would like to thank you to thank everyone who's been attending, who's who are attending this uh, live stream we're having. Thank you so much for coming. And this is this would be, I I would say this is my first time to be interviewed. In in this way, like um, in an interview way, uh, live stream way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty honored na, uh, to do this. So. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. 
So the first question is, uh, well, you can call me Kuzang. I mean, well, that's my username. So. All right. So I guess that's all. Okay, that's all right. You can just uh, address me as Kuzang. Now. Tell us your job in regards to ponies. Like, what do you do? Uh, well, f- uh, I usually do like parodies and um, like I, I run my YouTube channel making uh, mostly like humanoid pony par- uh, videos. Mm-hmm. Like uh, currently, I just recently posted the full video of Muffin Breaker. If anyone's heard of that, it's basically I just made a a 2D brawler with Derpy and Sonata trying to to save this baker because Derpy wants muffins. <laughs> we showed and that the baker, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he w- and because the baker was kidnapped by this queen who wants to... who needs something from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, hopefully whoever, uh, if anyone has watched it, like, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that. Who are your favorite characters? Or, or I'm sorry, I should ask your favorite episodes first. What are your favorite episodes of Friendship Is Magic? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I know there's a lot, eh? Like the from season one, my. Favorite episode would be uh, Art of the Dress. Mm-hmm. That that one very fa- that one very popular rarity episode, and um, I kind of enjoyed uh, Griffin Griffin brush off and I I don't know, it's been a long time since I watched season one. I can't remember all of them. <laughs> but as far as I can tell, like as far as I remember, like I enjoyed season one and two okay. a lot. What but basically, f- like I enjoyed watching all of the seasons. Maybe there's like some episodes maybe I'm not uh, in tune. I'm not very receptive of, but like overall, the the show is great so far. How about your favorite characters from specifically from G four? G four. Uh I know it's in no particular order, it's like uh Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rare Applejack, uh Rainbow Dash, and Twilight. I mentioned Pinkie Pie already, right? We're getting Hello? some. Yep, we're getting some uh, choppiness, but if you give it a second, it'll come back. Anyway, um, you mentioned Pinky. Oop, there it is. Give it a moment. Yellow. Hello. Up, oh, sorry, got cut off there. It's all right. Uh, where we where were we? Oh yeah, your favorite characters. You mentioned the party horse, the book horse, the fashion horse, the speed horse, and um, I think that was it. So, if, are there any other characters you want to mention? Who are your favorites? Hmm. On top of my head, that like, yeah, other than. Uh, other than uh, Applejack, Twilight, Rarit- uh, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie, mostly Derpy, and Sonata. <laughs> oh, is Sonata included in the Generation 4? Yep. Well, he's- yeah, it's anything well, It's anything from within the Friendship is Magic universe. So, yes, that would count. Yeah, well, uh, I like those Dorch, eh, Derpy, and Sonata. If... My channel isn't obvious enough. (laughs) (laughs) 
I had to ask why. Yeah. What is it about Derpy and Sonata that you like so much? Um, nothing like deep, I guess. Like f- as the ca- as the characters there being b- portrayed so far, like I enjoy the company of those dorks. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like uh, for one, Derpy, I, I love how uh, Derpy is portrayed in the fandom. Like this uh, goofy, this goofball who like messes up sometimes. Although, although at the same time, like yes, he's charming. I guess. I guess I feel the same way with Sonata, only with her. I guess uh, obsession with tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because here's the funny thing. I, I think I attribute, uh, I attribute Lego the movie for me liking Sonata. <laughs> it's like I just watched the movie and then later on I just I watched Rainbow Rocks and the pun that caught me so yeah <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday yep actually it's Sunday and finally yep, Taco Sunday and finally do you have any um do you have any favorites from any Hello? previous generation? Hello? Am I cut off again? Oh, no. Oh, come on. You there? No. Hello? Yes? Can you hear yeah, us? Yeah, am I back again? Yep. Yeah, this happened... Uh, I have to say, I really have to say this, like, our internet here is horrible. <laughs> it's really, really horrible. Like, I can't even watch, I can't even stream YouTube videos without it, like, crashing. Oof. Sometimes. There are times like that. So, yeah, I have to apologize for those instances that I'm, go- I'm going to cut off from time to time. Do you have any favorite characters from the previous generations, by chance? Uh, actually, no. Okay. I would say that I'm one of those people who got into the fandom. I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, yeah. I got into the fandom like from season uh from season uh generation four. I mean, I'm one of those guys like, you know, the, those typical stories where. I, you found this show about ponies, and then everyone's crazy about it in one th- in one forum. And you you I have this perfect uh, you have this perplex face now. Who would watch this? And then like I just lurk in the thread, seeing now what's up. And then the episode that hooked me is Griffin brush off. Mm-hmm. So yeah, pretty much Pinkie Pie pulled me into pulled me in the fandom. So I've been, and then I've been here ever since. So yeah, just like enjoying, uh, enjoying what the show is giving me so far. How? Uh, then this leads to my next question: How did you get started in animating and animations? Animation. Uh, I think it was in high school, like. I think uh, I was inspired by the animations I've been seeing in the internet. I think what, what 2008. Oh, I think those. I th- was the boom of Newgrounds and the crazy animation, the, the crazy videos they put up there. So <laughs> some of them are uh, notably like videos like Igor Raptor's animations and. Yeah. Can you repeat that? You kind of got cut off. Yeah, we're. I just what asked. Did I said when it, before I cut off. You mentioned uh, in high school and uh, around 2008, the Newgrounds boom. Yeah. So yeah, and then the Newgrounds boom and uh, like animators like uh, Igor Raptor, Harry Patridge, 
even like the animator who did Bitey, like those those guys, those big guys from Newgrounds who pull put out these like their really crazy silly animations <laughs> and like I enjoy watching it every day and then I don't know, I think I decided one time, I think I was finishing high school. I decided I want to be an animator. And then, yeah, that started it off. Like, I went to a school to study animation. Uh, I went to a school who is offering an animation course and is like, tried to work my way as an animator. Now, parang uh, thinking of like I wish to make my own stuff parang I went parang with the idea of uh, making my own animations too okay awesome so, so yeah and um, currently I'm just uh, working for a studio now like I'm actually working as an animator in a flash as a flash animator here in in a studio here I'm working oh really wow yeah I'm cool yeah, on top of like making animations, uh, pony videos, like I also work uh, work for a studio, making cartoons too. <laughs> uh, what kind of cartoons? In the sense of like local stuff, or uh, let me back up here, stuff that gets shown on television, or just the internet stuff. What exactly? No, it's uh, currently I'm working on. Working on an animated series where it's going to be shown on TV. Nice. I would. I can't say anything because it's like a new, a new thing. Like it's it's not even out yet. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the very first season, so like I can't really tell much other than like I'm working on it. I'm w- doing it on Flash. Wow. Cool. So yeah. Um, in terms of your character designs for ponies. I, I do want to get back to the ponies bit. Uh-huh. You have a very unique style. Why did you choose to do them this way? You mean, uh, which one? The the animated series one? The Muffin Story one? Yeah, sure. Well, I wouldn't say it's a unique style. It's it's uh, like the it's a look that I enjoy looking at. Like I enjoy looking at from time to time like I'm also I'm also big in anime before and I really like some of the stuff where like most of them are chibis like I'm in I really like chibi like styles car- chibi like styles mm-hmm. so like uh, I try to incorporate it in drawing ca- my character designs for Muffin Story and yeah that's like I like I really enjoy doing a style, I like, want that deep chibi style. It shows. <laughs> and hey, we're I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see here. In before Kuzang is animating official pony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? Uh. So besides, you already mentioned your software that you used Flash. What mm-hmm. are your um? What about har- no. What about the hardware? What kind of machine are you running? Oh um yeah, just a PC, like an ordinary PC. Okay. Uh well, it's good enough to run Flash, I guess. <laughs> Although I can play games. Well, this is basically my all-in-one platform. Like my PC is like my games, my videos, my animation. I do it. I do everything on my PC mostly. I don't have consoles. I don't have money for it. <laughs> <laughs> what about what version of Flash are you running? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Um. All the animations you see, I did all of them using Flash CS3. Okay. So, yeah, that because I think that's the most stable one and I don't really want to pay a monthly subscription for CC. Yeah, no kidding. I I hear that. Tell me more about 
So we have some people slowly leaking in here. Tell me more about some advice you would give to people who might want to get into animating. Not necessarily like even from a professional level, but say into flash animation. We'll start there. Uh, any advice on yeah. doing animation? Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. From my experience, like the only reason, like I, I kicked off, I said that like the first uh, animation, animated. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that uh, parody video I did with you know, Sunset Shimmer's Once Cake. Yes. Yeah, I would say that's my very, very first anime. We're going to drop again, aren't we? The animation I did for the fandom, and okay. I got cut off again, right? Uh, no, never mind. Yeah. You did, you, cl you cut for just a second. That's about it. And now he cuts completely. Me and my big mouth. Uh, Sorry, uh, that one we did get cut off on. So I'll, I'll repeat yeah, the question. To, I'll repeat the question to get us back on track. What are some advice? What is some advice you would have for someone who wants to try their hand at animating? Hmm. I would say like. If if you want to try uh, to try out like animating in Flash, like I would say, like you go for it, like research on it, like study on how to make. I don't know what, what which style you want. Because like, because uh, for me, uh, the style I, the animation style I do is like limited, puppet styles. Mm -hmm. So I I I'm I like do the puppets and animate using those using those puppets I say traditionally like most of the, most of the animators using flash are generally doing like uh about like doing like traditional frame by frame animation uh for me uh the style I'm working on right now is like more on like limited Hanna Barbera style, or like I would say, like Dexter's Lab style of animation, where I I have these puppets and I just work with it. Okay. And uh, it depends, right? If you want to, it, it pretty much different uh, depends on what style of animation you want. And all I, I have to say is like, look it up. The internet is a the internet is a gold mine for tutorials if you want to learn something uh, I would say like uh, more but more importantly if like you have to draw you have to learn how to draw good for one okay. that's the most important thing that's the most important thing is like, uh, like you improving your uh, parang improving your stro uh, your drawings and um, <clears throat> understand ways of uh, drawing good uh, gestures along those lines. So, so yeah, you, you don't really have... Hello? Yep, we're still Are here. Are cutting off again? And now we... Uh, I just love it how the internet teases you. It's like, oh, you're still on? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Anyway, are we... Um, uh, are, oh, jeez, uh, yeah, so bad. We did, we did get cut off, but you're back. Um... Where were we? You were mentioning about drawing good. You got done there and moved on to uh -huh. I think you were just finishing up. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of drawing, like you have to draw a lot. Draw every day. At least like you I say basically drawing is muscle memory. If you keep on doing it, keep working at it, eventually you'll improve on on your style, and you're gonna have your own voice. I would say, you could say that you can have, you can learn to create your own style once you like, you know, keep on drawing. Mm -hmm. Even like trying to copy every, uh, the styles of the artist you look up in that you want to work, uh, you want to have. 
Like say, kasi ako, uh, to me, me, I, the drawing styles I do, like I look up to artists like uh, Bruce Tim or Gandhi, Gandhi Tartakovsky. Mm-hmm. The guys who, kasi I really like very simplistic, uh, se- kanya, parang semi-realistic and simplic- simplistic styles that isn't overly detailed uh, overly detailed parang I like the styles that you can easily read so uh, I all, I put time to researching their drawings and the cartoons they the cartoons they did like I keep watching them and studying how they the pro, kane, parang try to figure out the, what the process they had when creating this drawing that or you can I, I, I sometimes like copy mm-hmm. copy a drawing of they did and try to understand uh, through that basically like you could say like you're re, uh, rever, uh, reverse engineering the drawing style and study and learn something from it sure so yeah nice what a, and go ahead sorry yeah, if parang uh, as for animation in a nutshell, like it's really good na parang whatever that inspires you, you keep watching it. Like uh, and study why you like the style and try to emulate it yourself. And because eventually you're gonna find your own style when you like accumulate all all those experiences you had to and you know, uh, compress it down and to your style. What about from a story? Did, Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Nah, I'm just asking if it did that make sense. Yeah. Did that make any sense? What about from a story? Yeah. And the reason I say yes is because this leads into a follow-up question I have. What about from a storytelling standpoint? Would you say that sta- the same thing applies? Um, yeah, I mean, like, in terms of like whatever writer you enjoy, you keep, you know, take uh, keep uh, reading and like figure out which uh, how they write their stories. Okay. But honestly, I'm not the right guy for for. To, to, uh, Hey, I had nothing to do with that one, folks. So, shut up. You were saying? You got cut off a bit. <laughs> this internet's so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so annoying. Stop it, internet. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, like, to be honest, I'm not really the guy for, in terms of, like, if you want in-depth advice for storytelling. Okay. I would say... I would say um, if you want any advice in a story in a story st- storytelling standpoint, I would like to recommend checking out uh, Steve uh, on writing by Stephen King. Okay. Yeah. Even even just like buying the book, a used book, or just buy the audio book from from online. Just listen it, listen to it, and study and like. Uh, take in what the advices he says on storytelling. It's a really good, honey. Uh, it's a really good listen for me. I say I've uh, bought the audiobook and tried to understand and like remember what the good advices they he says upon the sto- uh, uh, about what he says about storytelling. Okay. And. And other than that, I would also recommend like subscribing to every frame a pa- every frame a, pa- uh, a painting, every frame a painting. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a YouTube channel about uh, like this these short video essays where he talks about film and uh, I think he also had like good I think he also had good videos on.
yeah. So yeah, um, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about every frame of painting. Yeah, you should check out the, uh, that channel for if you want a, mo- a more condensed version of good t- uh, good uh, tips on storytelling. You, maybe I would recommend you uh, watching again, Evolution of Art. I think he uh, Tony, the guy who's do- who's making the cha- who's working on the channel. I think he made a good video essay about Chuck Jones and how he. And how he his uh, evolution on creating the Looney Tunes. Okay. I would recommend you. Uh, I would recommend you uh, checking that out. That or F for Fake <laughs> for okay. storytelling. Yeah, th- those. Honey, I can't really recommend this channel enough for how many <laughs> time how good this channel is. If you want like tips and tricks on filmmaking, I uh, uh, like. If you want a condensed version of tips and tricks on video fil- uh, in filmmaking, I would re- really recommend you uh, watching that channel. Okay. <laughs> Go zoom tight. Yeah. Kind of bother. Couldn't resist. What would you say? It. I guess back up here. I've heard a lot of people say that Flash is difficult or it's hard to work with. What's your opinion on the user interface of it? Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't deny that uh, when the first time I used Flash, the, it's really I can't really div- uh, figure out how to use this software. Like it's one of those times where you acclimate to it, like you get to use to it to the software. Sometimes there are times that it won't be like as intuitive as an artist would hope, but. I don't know. Once you figure out what to do with that software, you can freely do whatever you would like. I mean, like case in point, uh, that look at the animations. The animation uh, friendship is magic has been putting out, despite it using it being done in Flash, right? Good point. Like that's it's not even they're not even doing that in Toon Boom and the. Quality they put out, it's it's really good for y- using a clunky software like Flash. Yep. Yeah, because some I think I heard that like you can basically do this, do the animations, the animations they're doing in Flash. They can do it easier in Toon Boom. But you know, if you know what you're doing with Flash, you can do the same thing without using Toon Boom. Right. Uh, the same the same thing Tundum does easy so I don't know it's, it's based on experience I wouldn't say that uh, but yeah I wouldn't deny that the learning curve in in using Flash is pretty steep like you really have to uh like keep using the software so you can just un- understand working on it figures. So, yeah. <laughs> What would you say in regards to both your... Hello? Yes. And cut off again. Damn it, scrape. Hello? Hello? Yeah, cut off again. All right. <laughs> I was going to lead into this next question I have. What would you Uh say in regards to both your personal and professional work is the most satisfying part of these animations? Uh, Hmm. I would say like the uh, seeing it move once you're you done you're done grinding into make into animating it. Like once I've seen seen the final output, like that's the satisfying. Parang I begin to appreciate the the hard, basically the hardship. I the hardships I do when making making the scenes. Parang like the payoff is like seeing it finished. I think that's the most satisfying part. 
for me. Similarly, what about the most annoying part? What is it that really irks you with this? I am make uh, when animating. Mm-hmm. Um, ano kaya? Um, I would say the grind. I guess I would say the grind on making the characters move. Actually, because <laughs> there are times like it will. It animating really does take a long time. It really like sucks a lot of time for you to like finish like a second of worth of animation it, it may depending on how difficult your animation is like there are times like i i i have these scenes i i get scenes where everyone's uh everyone's running around or doing parang crazy stunts like doing making a, a one second animation of those like it really takes me like almost like the whole afternoon just to make it good to just to make it good so like it's it's a frustrating it's kind of frustrating although sometimes i wish i could do it faster but you know that's the grind yeah um okay Speaking of your animations, when it comes to them, what is something that we should look for in them? Like, what's... Allow me to explain. What is it in them that you say we should look for? Like, sometimes an artist, I've been told they look for the design or the backgrounds or uh-huh. something like that. So what should we look for in yours? For me? Um... I don't know. I guess something to enjoy. Uh, something. It's something to enjoy. It's not. Uh, if I'm going to be honest, not my my animation isn't really the. Doesn't really have any deep message, to to portray. Like, uh, I do make these animations just like to uh, entertain myself. Like they're pretty short. They're pretty short. Something silly, like just to like uh, uplift my, uh, uh, just to uh, uh, uplift. Uh, uh, eh, I'm sorry, <coughs> I'm wrapping my words now. Day lang. Like just uh, something to like give smiles, I guess. Okay. Like something to enjoy in a short in a short time. Because if I, I had those like. Uh, comments where they they feel better when after watching some of my videos they would comment na they their moods are uh, were better after watching my videos so that's that's a good thing uh, parang that effect so yeah that's pretty much nice having fun although I wish na Although there, I've been thinking of uh, creating bigger, parang grander. St- of course, I had to cut off at that point. You were, uh, oh. yeah, we got cut off again. But you mentioned about creating bigger, grander animations. Is that correct? Yeah, um, I w- not sure if it's story wise or action wise. I don't know. I have to think about it, but you know, <laughs> why not? I both? Just, yeah, I have, no. I just have plans to like maybe because to be honest, I'm not really the you know I'm not really that good of a writer in terms of like making deeper stuff. Though, like I, I would say that this uh, what I'm doing for my channel is like a basic on exercise. And hopefully, I can do something better. Nice, cool. Then, I, I look forward to that. I know. Yeah, no, no promises. May it may take me years, though. <laughs> that or hopefully, I can find someone to write it. I don't know. <laughs> it's 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 one of those uh, questions I have. But uh, if I'm if I were to make a like make a group and work together and to make something big 
mga those or just like make it myself. Okay. So I'm just like uh, looking it up, just being open to those options. But yeah, there's. But yeah, I have uh, like dreams of making like. I guess TV TV grade like just as good as FIM. I was story white uh, story wise like. I wish to make something like that. Good thing to inspire to. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's We're, pretty much it. Go ahead. You know, that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, we are approaching the one hour mark here, so we will short, be shortly turning to the audience questions. But before I get to them, I want to ask you, a, I still have a few questions I could ask you. Kuzan. Yeah, okay. One, I I guess the only one I have before I get there is you kind of I guess you kind of did answer that one. Um, okay, I'll I'll ask this one. How long does it take to make these side these animations for us, the ones on your YouTube page? How long would you say those take? Hmm. Uh. I can't really. Well, I, I could make uh, parang a general estimate, I guess. Uh, it would take me like, for example, for like Muffin Story, it would take me, siguro, like months, like a couple of months to finish an episode. Because that's. Cause, uh, I mostly do majority of the stuff. Like, I do the writing, I do the characters, I do the animations, I do the backgrounds all by myself. So, you know, it's a if it uh the, my videos are pretty much a one man show, a, a one man studio. Mm-hmm. Like I I don't really have like access to like people who can do like backgrounds for me so I can move things a little bit faster. I'm not gonna Uh, I make all of the all of these all I work on every area so it takes me like a long time to make even like a, a minute yellow so, hello yeah so yeah it takes me a long time to make a, at least a, a, like a minute episode which I'm trying to do okay. although I'm trying I'm trying to figure out ways to do the production faster, but it's something I'm working on it. I, I'm working on. So yeah, <laughs> yeah bite size. Because right. the major- majority of the t- majority of the time, uh, that animation really takes majority of the time to majority of the time to make. So yeah. That's yeah. That's what I hear. Is a couple of minutes can take a very long time to do in this industry. Yeah, it depends on like what style you have. Cause if you have like, if you can do like uh, a gumball like style, mm-hmm. you can. I guess you can do it faster. But if you're like trying to make uh, something like Kanishi pandas. What Kanishi Panda does, it's gonna take a long, long time to do. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it depends. It depends on what style you're going, you're after. If you want like a limited, like uh, a limited uh, animation style or a fully, dr- a fully, fully drawn, fully animated uh, style. So it depends on what style you're going for. So if you want fast, uh, if uh, the production is going to be fast or not. Not enough so, yeah. testosterone in um, Kanishi Panda's videos. <laughs> yeah, he's nuts. Yeah, but the the funny, the animation he does in his channel, like, wow, mm-hmm. those the, those are crazy. <laughs> Even uh, most notably, the uh, no, that he majority of his animations are like frame by frame. So every frame he do, he you see in his animations, he has to draw it. Every single one of them. Every muscle flex, I guess. 
<laughs> Matter of fact, in every JoJo Bizarre parody he does. Alright, why don't we move on to the um to the uh audience questions. Alright. So are you ready for the random? Alright, bring it. Let's see. Bat Pony Texas Boy asks what would you like to see in season f- in the second half of season? He he's asking multiple questions here, but I'm going to start him by breaking them p- apart. All right. What would you like to see in the second half of season five? Second half. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I guess surprise me. I said like season five so far to me is uh. I contrary to like some some viewers like the episodes I enjoy it I enjoy it so far most notably the which one was that do princess the grip magic sheep yeah that one that inception one <laughs> and then uh that got dark in the second half like wow yeah to think and to think right like it's been like five seasons and Luna bottled that up for that long. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. The ner- you know, that, that uh, mental toughness she has to, she has to have just to bottle that, just to bottle that up. That's, that's insane. Like she, she's really guilty for five seasons and she hasn't like uh, resolved that until now. That got dark. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, How about yeah. in and, se- Go ahead. Uh, that was... I think the other... The Pinkie Pie, the Pinkie Pie one? The, no, no, the Rainbow Dash one with, with uh, Griffin Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, that's, I enjoyed that too. Although basically, I, majority of the episodes I enjoyed in... Internet is so bad. Anyway, um So yeah, majority of the the episodes I watch the episodes I enjoy a lot in Friendship is Magic is mostly like adventure type ones. Mm-hmm. Or like maybe a few like character interactions. I say but I, I I enjoy something like what, uh, like uh, art in the dress. Maybe those dynamic, those kinds of dynamics. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, I would say like surprise me, I guess, <laughs> for season five because like so far they're pretty, they're doing a good job, considering like Lauren Faust has been out for like ever since season two. <laughs> like they. They pulled it together compared to like other shows where the creator is gone and that show crumbles because the direct the the creator itself left. Kind of a creator versus the created argument. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, I, 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 I have to say like Lauren Faust did uh, parang I think left left the show with a pretty good foundation and I guess M.A. Larson the M.A. Larson and Megan McCarthy really uh, pulled it together pretty well I would agree yeah they're uh, from time to time like maybe there there may be episodes who made me scratch my head but overall like I don't know I can't really complain much like there it it's not like twelve majority uh, like in in one season like twelve episodes are horrible. All of them are horrible. It's not like that in season five, so that's pretty much good. That's pretty much good to me. Uh, yeah. I say like I tried watching season five of the Powerpuff Girls where John McIntyre is directing it. It fell into shit. Mm-hmm. when he directed it like it's I can't watch it so yeah uh, compared to that with 
with what the directors are doing so far in season five, like, like I can't wait to what they have in store for us. I'm assuming that goes for season six in the movie as well. Hmm. I don't know about the movie. Like, I have this impression like it's a it's a sequel and nobody asked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. We'll see. We'll see if it's horrible or not. But I don't know. Cause I, for, for me, I'm done with Equestria Girls since Rainbow Rocks. Eh? No, 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 no. Not that the tw- the the MLP movie they have planned in 2017. Not the Equestria know, Girls they, uh, one. The one oh, where they're horsies. The very... That you mean that movie that everyone's asking, but they didn't get it until now? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like They've done the record season four. I don't know how will they top that off. Unless they make another Dragon Ball Z episode. They make, they make a Dragon Ball Z The Pony. Hey, I wouldn't be complaining to that myself, but that's just me. (laughs) I don't know. Um, There's not much information about the movie, right? Mm -hmm. There's not even a trailer for what they have in store for the movie, so I don't know. I can't really say. I I can't really say that much. So hopefully it will be good, and hopefully they can top what Terek did in Season 4. What they did in Season 4, I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Let's see. Twilight is Magic asks, how does your official work fit into you, your making of animations on the side, you know, for your YouTube? Do you end up with enough spare time for it, or does the work take away from the fun of side projects? Or is it harmonious? Hmm. i say uh, for uh, me working as a professional artist, Obviously, the work comes first because, like, it pays rent. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But for the side, pro- uh, for the side projects, like, uh, it's, ano ba? How would I describe it? It's pretty hard. Eh? It's it's really weird because like, my side project is the same thing I'm doing professionally, so I can't really make any distinction as because both of them are animations but like I would say I enjoy doing the side projects because I'm doing it for this for myself I guess like it's my own stuff so I don't that's a motivating factor for me to create my own animations because I'm I myself is doing this I have full control over it compared to like I have to like listen to a director to to his instructions and what he wants on the scene. Mm-hmm. Parang I'm my own director if I do my own stuff. So sure. parang I can I can uh, set parang limitations and challenges that I know I can do I can deliver. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like con- the control of it. Like I I think I. That's one of the aspects I like in making my own videos. Mr. Then. Okay, sorry. So then, that's about it. Mr. Ben asks uh, his usual questions. <laughs> what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Favorite flavor? Hmm. Uh... I don't know. I have this assorted ones. I like. Hmm. I don't know if you have this in the U.S. Eh, but they we have this like Korean ice cream. Uh, I think the brand is Melona. Mm-hmm. It's basically like a watermelon flavored ice cream popsicle, Ooh. and like, yeah, it's really good. And other than that, I guess I like Rocky Road. Rocky and, Road. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that I don't know. Some anything with chocolate or Reese's, I guess. Nice. He also asks, "Earth, fire, wind, and water. Which of these two would you care to manipulate?" 
like, have you seen Avatar, the last Airbender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. of them? Which two of these would you like to bend? What? Which element? Which two? Oh, I can choose two. Yep. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I never really thought about it. Hmm. I guess. Uh, fire, uh, ice, water, and. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Water and earth. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Twilight is magic. We need Derby and Sonata to quest after that ice cream. Why they are lurking, looking for ice cream? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Just a random comment. But anyway, and lastly from Mr. Ben, in your informed, subjective, unbiased opinion, what is the meaning of life? Uh, I don't... Yeah, this is, that's I hate. <laughs> I hate. I hate you, Ben. That's a really <laughs> deep question. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess it's an experience. You just experience life, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it that much, but like, if I don't know, roll roll with it, I guess. Like. Make do what you have and like just experience it. Just experience it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a philosopher, but I don't know. That's basically like like my over observations so far all th- uh, through through these years, through these couple of years. Like, uh, you know, it's an experience. You do it. Parang you just experience it, it and. Whatever goals you wish, you try to figure out to how you can do that. You, you can do it, I guess. Uh, Bat Pony Texas Boy asks. Yeah, you... I make a very very horrible life coach. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah. So what's the next question? Yeah, uh, Bat Pony Texas Boy asks. Do you do? Do you have any other hobbies other than say? No. Do you do anything else on the side, like other projects that are not animated? Mm, no, not really. Like, as in, like, I'm, if I'm working on working on other than if I'm working on not animation projects. Mm-hmm. Like, do you play video games or do you oh, walk things like that? Oh, I thought he's asking if I'm if I if I work on anything else other than animation. Well, yeah, um, yeah, I I do occasionally like play video games. What games do you play? Mm, let me see on my Steam. Usually, it's majority of my majority of my games I have is PC. And uh, like, I don't know. I'm currently you know, like I said I mentioned before the podcast like. Uh, I was I got into playing Terraria. <laughs> Just mining underground, killing skeletons. <laughs> and um ano pa? Uh Oh yeah, I I'm currently into playing Heroes of the Storm. Okay. What's that? Yeah, that that's the basically the Dota version of Bl- Blizzard's Dota. I guess. Okay. Like this, the gameplay is similar to, uh, like League of Legends, those MOBA games like League of Legends and Dota, but it's all start. Uh, it's all Blizzard game characters from okay. Diablo, StarCraft Two, or what's that? World of War, uh, Warcraft. So yeah, you yeah, that's what I'm enjoying recently. Cool. Uh, let's see. <sighs> All right. Mr. Ben asks, are you a squid or a kid? I am a squid now and a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I want to play that game, although I don't have a Wii U. Like I said, I don't have money for consoles. 
<laughs> Although I just like watch Let's Plays. Let's Plays of it, like see what it's like. Those are fun. Yeah, it looks fun. Not enough. Um, there isn't enough Squid Girl in that game, though. Uh huh. But that's my. Um, that's the. I'm getting off track. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. But there's a lot of Wii U games that I really want to play, other than Monster Hunter. So yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe in the near future, like I'll save up for the next we uh, next Nintendo console or sure. a 3D or a DS. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll just stick to PC games for now. <laughs> <laughs> and then TF2, the TF2 game, um, the TF2 mod that will play Squid or uh, damn it, I've got Squid Girl on the mind now. Um, there's a mod coming out that would play Splatoon on Team Fortress 2. Just watch. That will come out and all of our problems will be solved. There. Wait, what do you mean? I, what, what, do we, what do you mean? There's, um, there is a mod being built right now by some team to say, uh-huh. hey, let's put Splatoon in Team Fortress 2. And it's pretty much just... Um, it's pretty much just as it sounds. If you ever wanted to play Splatoon but don't have a Wii U, just wait till this mod comes out. Wait, so let me get this straight. You have, like, all the Team Fortress characters have paint guns now? The mod's not complete. It's still in, like, a pre-alpha state. But basically, like, a scout with a paint gun. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, wait. How will they turn to squids? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, that's weird. that's gonna be the question. <laughs> you know, yeah, knowing okay. them, they'll probably find a way. That game is so mutable; it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ben, I'm I'm sorry. Shall we move on to the next question? Yeah, sure. All right. Twilight is magic. Asks. What do you find the hardest about making characters look alive as opposed to stiff when animating them? Because, yes, you manage to make them just fine. Hmm. Uh, it's only... Uh, if you... Uh, let me see. Because you, you try to... like You can give life to a character, I would say, if... If you pretty much know what the character is and what he wa- what or he or she wants, and you can figure out how he or she like acts to towards that goal, so you can play pretty much play around with it. And for animating, it's like you have to explore on expressions. I would say, like how play into how the character would look like, how you can push the expressions the character has towards a situation. And you have to understand what the character is thinking. So that's pretty much what I picked up from school, yeah. Know what the character is thinking and push what push the expression, what you are the the expression you have so, okay. so you try to like play around on like maybe like if you have a, a surprise face maybe you should uh raise the eyebrows higher than usual or make the pupils smaller so make it more clear and then yeah you have to experiment on like giving clear uh clear gestures so you get so that the viewer can read the expression. And so I guess that's one of those things like, parang, you know that's a good expression if you can quickly understand what the character is thinking. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's, I guess that's one of the tips, uh, tips you can use on even like comics. Eh? Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you see that you see that often enough in comics, so that makes sense. Mm, yeah. Especially with the um I don't know, the old timey cartoons eh. <clears throat> yeah. Um I don't know, like when I think I gotta check the like old timey comics like uh, from Don uh Donald Duck or hmm I guess even in like mga Batman comics, I said they, mm-hmm. I think the Bat, the Bruce Tim style Batman comics, you can uh, if you want if you need like uh, references on semi realistic e- expressions, you can check that out. So yung to see in how they can, how they draw their the expressions clearly. Okay. So yeah. I would also recommend like uh, I think I'm following this blog called Grizz and Norm G-R-I-Z and G-R-I-Z-A-N-D-N-O-R-M It's on Tumblr and he uh, I think it's a it's a animation couple I guess because they do storyboards from DreamWorks or in Sony I think one of them Nice and uh, they put out this uh, Tuesday tips where they every uh, parang every Tuesday I guess na they would uh, post tips and tricks on how on gesture drawings or pushing expressions or like uh, how to improve on gesture drawing. So if you want to improve on your gesture drawings, you might want to look that up. Chris and Norm. They have really good like short tutorials on how to draw better gestures, okay. better posing. I would say. So yeah, that's okay. mga, those are the blogs I follow. Let's see, Mr. Ben asks, and I'm gonna. There's a follow-up question I will ask with this. Do you take? Oh wait, wait, hmm? wait! I've been meaning ask. Is this? The uh, uh, am I thinking the same Ben, I, like Mister Ben, like Ben Mystery? Hmm? Am I think am I thinking of a different person? You might be thinking of a different person, uh, unless no. uh, unless it, that would be new to me. No, I mean the guy who made Ghost. Oh no no no, no 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 no! no. Oh, You're thinking of someone different. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been like. That that's been, that question has been bugging me for a while now. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for cleaning that up. Sorry for mistaking you for someone else, Mister Ben. <laughs> now. So anyway, uh, now, now I'm picturing Mister Ben with um, a fed- a big fedora and um, a mask, kind of like a '50s mis- man of mystery. <laughs> mystery Ben. Some days he is a he is an enigma, <laughs> but I digress. Mister Ben asks, "Do you take commissions or special requests?" Hmm. Uh. Yeah. If you if anyone's interested for a commission, you can uh, no, uh send me a note on DeviantArt on my kanduli dot deviantart dot com. You can. Uh, if you want the commissions of your characters or like something draw in my style you can send send a note and kind of check out another of the prices in my uh, gallery do you have are there any other ways we can support you like say here's my money take it um yeah yes, yes I have um if you want Cause there's uh, multiple ways you can do that. Maybe one is like you can you know commissions do commissions, or you can purchase my sketchbooks at at uh, gumroad.com/kuzang. I have a store up there where I post like mga, my sketchbook collections, my previous uh, sketchbook collections and. I also have a like a gesture drawing post reference. So if you need a like a cartoony styled 
refer uh, just uh, posing references. I have a book there that you know you can maybe you can pick up and support me through that. Nice. Or yeah, uh, or you can also support me on my <laughs> I don't know, uh, in my Patreon if you if you like. Uh, even I don't know for a dollar I guess you can have early access on my on the production uh, on production act on the production mm-hmm. like I can give like exclusive uh, screenshots of what I'm currently working on and you can you get to view the videos earlier than the s- supposed public release if you're into that and you can check out uh, like other uh, re- rewards I have it I have uh, I have on my Patreon if you're if you like to give more say <laughs> that's pretty much it hey, if you, the point of that was for you to plug yourself so if you want to throw your Patreon link and other things that you mentioned feel free yeah um, yeah and you can support me on my you know uh, gumroad.com slash kuzang or on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash kuzang I don't know uh, just type in kuzang on google you can pretty much see my social media stuff okay apparently um, apparently no one's using using the word kuzang not not a lot of people use the word kuzang apparently <laughs> so yeah I'm easy uh, I guess I can say you can say that I'm uh, I, I'm easy to find in uh, in Google, so yeah. yeah, that's pretty much. Hey, that that works in your favor. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle Eater asks, or Sprinkles Eater, I should say. Sprinkles Eater asks, "Are you going to animate only pony, or will you want to animate other things in, say, the future, near or far?" Yeah. Um. I would I have I have plans to branch out like I don't know I have I don't know I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Ruby R W B Y it's a it's an animated it's a 3D animated series uh made by the late Monty Om rest in peace uh so like I the the, the I enjoy the series because of the very actiony sensibilities of the show that's it's something like I've been w- looking for to a to a show to a TV series where you can I can enjoy seeing like uh, very very insane like fighting combat scenes and that pretty much that show the shows like very very like uh, complicated like very cool video gamey combat combos mga ganon uh Something like that, and yeah, but I wish to do something something like that only with a better story story plot, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so, Anapa, what's other what other questions? Let's see here. I skipped over a few by mistake. Bat Pony Texas Boy asks Celestia or Luna, and why? Celestia or Luna, or and why? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I want uh, If I'm going to pick Luna, I would take the comic Luna, <laughs> the comic series Luna. But I, I gravitate to her more. Because I don't know. She's a uh, she's a very rowdy in the comics. How she's portrayed in the comics is pretty rowdy and like much more uh, active, I mm-hmm. guess. So yeah, and when I see her, parang I see a, parang, uh, a some sort of warrior type for in her. So like that's something like I appreciate on that on Luna in the comics. Um, so yeah, he already asked that one. Twilight is magic asks. Do you have any plans for adding some other pony and EQG characters into your lineup? 
Oh yeah. Um Yeah, I've been thinking of adding in future episodes I'm thinking of adding like uh Pinkie Pie or Fluttershy. Hmm? Or maybe Twilight in the mix. But like I'm still figuring out how to I'm figure out the episodes for them. I say like I'm I'm for now like uh for Muffin Story I I don't know, I got this advice where I had to like maybe it's better for me to like make a collect to make a, like more episodes like make a buffer yeah. of episodes so that I could just like release it and then make a I don't know parang this advice like to make a better a more coherent storyline I guess so I'm trying that out let's see uh, and see what happens so yeah that's pretty much it okay let's so see. yeah um, expect expect like uh, uh, more characters in Muffin Story yay yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah with Fluttershy in a Fluttershy and Derpy in a pet clinic Aww. nothing's gonna nothing's bad's gonna happen there uh, uh, right and then you throw the cats in there <laughs> yep <laughs> so yeah that's, so yeah um, yeah I'm still uh, in the process of writing the episodes now okay cool um, you kind of answered this one but I'll ask it again because maybe we'll get a surprise uh huh Twilight is Magic asks what kind of animations do you like the most Action heavy ones, short ones, funny ones, cute ones, any of them? Maybe there's something else? Hmm. Uh, cartoons that I enjoy watching. Uh, what kind of animations do you like the most? He asked. So, yeah, I guess we can say that. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, I like. Uh. It's so it's, it's, I'm a weird case eh, because like I, I enjoy any animation that is good and that is like uh in, enjoyable to watch. I say I'm the weird case where like I hate the Titans Go but mm-hmm. although I like the character designs of it, I hate the Titans Go for the story style uh, parang that's uh story route they're going for, but I enjoy a lot of dick figures. <laughs> okay. So I'm a I'm a weird case where both of them are doing the same thing, but I like the stick figures more than the than the supposedly the TV series. Okay. The how TV you, great production. How do you fi- define good animations like? You just said good, but what would you say is that which attracts you the most to them? I don't know. It's pretty much subjective. Eh? Like it's pretty much aligned to what you like, what you enjoy, what aspects uh, do you enjoy? Like for me, like, I enjoy something that is funny, uh, that is enjoyable to watch. Um, silly character interactions, I guess. And I also like very ac- very complex action scenes where it's not like just punch, punch, punch. Mm-hmm. Like they – like I like the action scenes where they do more than just like doing realistic mo- uh, realistic combat, quote, unquote. And I also like – I also enjoy uh, storylines with deeper – deep storylines – from time to time what i really dislike is like mga, disp- mga very very depressing like very very dark themed uh plots i'm not really that in tune to that because like um i don't know i don't really enjoy those like, really dark themes like games of thrones mm-hmm. mm, i tried watching it like it's too dark for me. Like it depresses me a lot. So like I tend to like avoid shows like that. So I watch more. For me, like I watch more like like uh, my uh, friendship is magic, 
or Steven Universe or like you know going back to the old cartoons like uh, Power of Girls or the Looney Tunes like those things something like I enjoy sure because like I pretty much uh, can look up dark themes in CNN so I'm, okay <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much okay with the I'm pretty much okay with the dark dark stuff I can just I can watch it I can I, I always see it in the news so like watching some, a TV series that's full of that like nah too too much for me nah. it's too much for me but would you watch the news if it was happy and um fluffy <laughs> exactly yeah no not exactly but I would prefer like the new the news work would be like to tell the news as it is and not like blow it up like I don't know but that's pretty much what they're doing with the with the past recent years that they blow it up even though it's not really that but even though they're blowing it up and the truth is really far from and then it's really far from the truth. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's one of those. I don't know. So let's, yeah, let's see. Kind of, kind of already answered that one. Ooh, here's one. Mister Ben asks, "What are your some of your favorite animated movies, Disney in particular?" Hmm. I don't know what uh, Disney show what sticks to me. I say if it's a Disney show, maybe I would. What stuck to me is like Lion King or Mulan, and I guess we would say Wreck-It Ralph. I guess for the recent ones. Although what really stuck for me is like uh, The Incredibles. That's a good choice. Yeah, I say for me like. Uh, it's a really good Pixar show for my age, I guess. Like even though, even now, it still holds up. And I enjoy watching it. Like those picture show, uh, Pixar movie, uh, Pixar movies like, uh, yeah, The Incredibles, Up, Wall-E. Yeah, I enjoy those. And for non-Pixar stuff, uh, I enjoyed. Uh, Secret of Kells and Song of the Sea. Okay. And uh, I don't know. Sort of Hotel Transylvania, I guess. Because Gandhi is it, Gandhi directed it some kind mm-hmm. for, for for some time he directed that uh, he directed it. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Iron Giant. Tapos, uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what on top of my head right now. Because I'm mostly like, <clears throat> mostly I just consume video games. I like, enjoy <laughs> play, playing like the Arkham series, the Batman Arkham series, Assassin's Creed, Metal Gear Rising, and those stuff. Those are very, very high action y stuff. I'm Batman. Yeah. Too bad you can't go around doing that, grabbing them and saying, in the game itself, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> It'd scare him to death. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just yeah, had if, to throw that out there. Yeah, if uh, if you have Christian Bale for the voice, thank God Kevin, they, you, they, they just stick with Kevin Conroy. <laughs> so he's, he's the best Batman voice there is. I don't know. No one can match it. Uh, so yeah, pretty much it. Since we're kind of on the subject, thanks to Twilight is magic, there, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Bat Pony Texas Boy asks, "Would you like to be a minion to Queen Chrysalis?" Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we I don't want to be mind controlled, thanks. <laughs> so yeah. Nope. Nope. These two are kind She's of evil. Oh, sorry. She's evil. 
these next two questions kind of intertwine together, so I'll ask them together. Bat uh-huh. Pony Texas Boy and Mr. Ben asks, if you had the opportunity to go to Equestria, would you choose to be a unicorn, Pegasus, or a Batwing Thestral Pony, or an Earth Pony? Hmm. There's a little more to it, but I just want to get this part here. If I'm if I'm going to be re- reincarnated into a call, into a candy pony, mm, I don't know. Maybe I would uh, prefer being a unicorn, I guess, just because of the like magic. Mm-hmm. So I'm levitating stuff with ease. Yeah. So yeah. I know. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can. Pretty, I can pretty much do carry stuff easily with that magic <laughs> that kind of magic I wouldn't have to leave my couch <laughs> nah I would but anyway part of the rest of Mr. Ben's question is or if given the chance would you choose some alternate non-equine race such as changeling, griffin, dragon etc or would you choose to remain human but if I uh Hmm. Wait, a human in a pony universe? You mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, it's either being a kind of uh, a unicorn or a wyvern. Okay. I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. That's. I guess. Yeah. That's preferable. Yeah. I, at least if I'm a wyvern, I can fly. And eat sheep, I guess. Because <laughs> those sheep had it coming. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's really much it. Dark 92 Enigma asks, "Who? Uh, what is your favorite villain and why? I'm assu- I'll put that into two questions. Um, who is your favorite villain from Friendship is Magic? And who is your favorite villain in general from any series? Hmm. Uh, from for MLP? I yeah. am. Hmm, I guess it's pretty tough. I don't know, because it's, it's between Discord or Direct. Eh. Mm-hmm. As I like. I I enjoy, I pretty much like the uh, the the aspects of those characters. I say one is like an agent of chaos, and one is like uh, very cunning. But he's able to manipulate Discord to get his to get what he want to get what he wants. So yeah, there's, I don't know. To a point, Terek was smart eh, until he he got too much power eh, and he didn't really think in, think anything through but yeah the action the action scene the action scenes in that season finale was pretty much intense so like yeah it's pretty good yeah I like it so yeah that's either like discord or direct okay um <laughs> Twilight is Magic asks, "What inspired Muffin Breaker? Because it would be both fun and bloody hard to beat by the looks of it." <laughs> uh, initially, it was uh, inspired by I don't know by Paul Robertson. If you guys are familiar with that guy. He's the guy who made the. He's one of the animators from Gravity Falls for, Alien, mm-hmm. Rumble Fighter, <laughs> Rumble Max Skirmish. Yeah, he. I think, I, as far as I remember, he he was involved in creating the pixel the pixel art in that Gravity Falls episode, and he also did the Scott Pilgrim spot a uh, Scott Pilgrim game, but even before, like I enjoyed his really like very acid trippy animation he has over his life journal well 
recently he switched to Tumblr now, eh, but his live journal is also full of like crazy pixel art and pixel pixel gifs he has. Like it's pretty nuts. And also, I also inspired by the ga- the video was inspired by the guys from XS seventy three who I think a couple of years ago who made coin. Okay. It's basically yeah, I think that's the la- the final straw that broke that broke it. That <laughs> that makes me want to make a beat 'em up animation. She would say because uh, it's also because uh, that the coin is basically the same thing where it's a uh, animation of a supposedly beat 'em up game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's what it kind of drove me to make my own and try out uh, how how to make one. And apparently, it's really hard to do. <laughs> you, see, you had to like make each and every animation for the attacks, for the jumps, for the runs. And I have like what? So many characters to animate. And even the specials. Oh, the specials. It took me a long while to make those. I bet. They look like it. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, uh... Or even the guy, I think his name is James Farr. He also mm-hmm. do, does like uh, video game parodies. I think he also is pretty much known for making Smash Wars. That was an amazing series. Yeah, that was. Yeah, uh, uh, I really enjoyed that. It was really fun. Because, like Luke is Link is Luke. <laughs> I laugh at um, Kepora Gabora. There wasn't enough um, long ramblings. Obi Wan was a little bit more quiet, but Kepora Gebora, the owl, um, oh, yeah, he, yeah. he didn't blab enough in that series. <laughs> yeah, take this, and it's dangerous to go out. Take this, and gave him a lightsaber. Yep, <laughs> I could resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the yeah, those three. I think those three were responsible for me to make Muffin Breaker. Okay. But yeah, but I I would say I'm more heavily influenced by Paul Robertson uh Paul Robertson's work. Okay. I love that guy. I don't, I'm really happy I he, he's really doing well, I guess, as far as I can tell. Like he makes a lot of content for Disney and Cartoon Network for like T V bumpers. Mm-hmm. I think he recently did that one dino thing for Adult Swim. Yeah, I know the ones. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much uh, inspired Muffin Breaker. I don't know. It, it makes me wondering, eh, parang, are people like want a sequel to that? They want another like Muffin Breaker like beat em up animation? Or I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think. Uh, t- to me personally, I would like a muffin breaker beat 'em up game myself. Oh, you, yeah. But yeah, you want to get yeah, a game version of that? I got so so many comments about that. Like they really want it a game, and they would throw money for it. <laughs> Problem is, is that you know that's going to require action scripting. Yeah, and if I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a game developer. I I don't know. I never experienced making a game for myself, so pretty much, which is why, like, I prefer. I, parang I did it in an animation form instead of a game. Because mm-hmm. I like making a game is a whole another a whole other skill set that I'm not really that I don't, I don't have. I don't I don't really have as of yet. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I maybe maybe I could just make a beat 'em up original beat 'em up in the future. But right now, like I'm ill-equipped to make a game, and might disappoint the people. <laughs> I don't like that. Sorry. How about? Um, I can ask that one. Um.
That pony, Texas boy asks, flutter shy or flutter bat? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. That's a toughie. I don't know. I can't. I can't really comment on that. Hello. Yeah, still here. Oh yeah. Okay. I thought I was, I was cut off. I don't know. We man. haven't been it's, cut it's, off in a while, and I was trying to avoid saying it to not jinx us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, anyway, hopefully it it won't. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know. It's a tough call because. Uh, we didn't really see much of what Flutterbat is, I guess, other than what he, how she acted in that episode. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I still prefer the the Fluttershy that won't like suck every red colored thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I don't know. Eh. Maybe I'll just stick to the ordinary Fluttershy that the our timid kind doormat. I don't know. <laughs> Although I wish he would be less of a doormat in the, in in this in this season though. So yeah. Twilight. So yeah, I pref- I prefer Fluttershy. Playing Flutter uh, playing Fluttershy or hardcore maybe. Maybe <laughs> hardcore Fluttershy. Maybe I would prefer that. At least she, she she doesn't get pushed around. At least, yeah. Twilight is magic. Asks, Flufflepuff is now in your room. What do you do? Glomp. <laughs> Best answer. <laughs> Bat Pony Texas Boy asks, What is your favorite animal? Hmm. I don't know. I would say a puppy. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't really have like uh, other than that like dogs. I guess I'm into like enjoy the company of dogs. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's much. <laughs> Twilight is magic. Asks. Are you planning on making any more of the simpler projects like the Smile PMV with Pinky's chibi version singing it? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I want to go back into those as well. Like for in the meantime, while I'm trying to like buffer up more Muffin Story, ep, Muffin Story storylines, like I, I'm thinking of like doing more short, shorter, short form animations. More like silly, silly stuff mm-hmm. that will like make me feel better. Because it was also that's also one of the reasons why I make my own stuff. Like I just want to like make make something that I would enjoy watching in the meantime while I try to cool while I try to cool down from while I'm exhausted from work. Like something to watch and make me laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, I I am intending to to go back to making those short forms. Actually, I'm about to finish one video, so I'm going. Hopefully, I'm going to post it next weekend. I'm gonna nice. post it. So look forward to that. I'm going to I made I made a like like a video a video parody of one of the old memes I enjoyed. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. Looking for uh, look forward to that new video uh, this coming Saturday. We'll be looking forward to it. Bat Pony Texas Boy asks, "What's the best day of the week?" Best day of the week, Friday. Although I'm not going to sing that song. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's the start of the weekend. Nothing's better than that. And after, like paycheck, Darn that's the true. day of the pay, and that's the day of the paycheck. So yeah. All right, we are just about finished here with our audience questions. So I do have, yeah, one more to ask you. And Twilight is Magic kind of touched upon this 
future plans. So I'm going to ask this a little bit different. What is the one thing in, that in the future you wish to accomplish that not necessarily for both your professional standpoint, but from a personal standpoint, what is something you hope to accomplish? Uh, okay. Hmm. I would say that like my big personal goal is to like, you know, uh, making a living out of my own stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like going in, like go going full indie and supporting myself as one. So that would be uh, like the goal I I try to strive for now in what I'm doing. So yeah, and like as far as I can tell, I can I can see signs that I might pull it off because like there's people who are really liking my stuff, and you know that's pretty. Uh, what's the word? Uh, encouraging, yeah. very encouraging. So I I don't know. We'll see. But uh, there, along along the lines, uh, I really wish to make a really a, a real legit TV, uh, real legit uh, legit series. Something like I can like uh, something that can be posted on you know, uh, what's that Netflix or Hulu? Yeah, Net- or, Netflix or Hulu. Yeah, or or an animated series where like eh, that's my own. That would be right. cool as well. Or make my an animated series of my own, like an original one. So yeah, that's that's one of the goals I I'm setting myself up for and trying to figure figure out. Sounds like you're on the road to it. Yeah. One last question from the audience. Mr. Ben asks would you be willing to return for a second interview? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. That would be nice. Yeah, if you if you guys are into it, then yeah, sure. Awesome. All right, we have reached the two-hour mark. It is time to wrap this up. So. Oh yeah, is it that time already? Yeah, no kidding, right? Wow. So. Kuzong, I want to thank you for stopping on by. Thank you for being for taking the time to answer our questions. Yeah, yeah, and thanks for like adjusting the the time schedule. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, apparently, me thinking that taking a nap is also synonymous for sleeping, fully fully sleeping. <laughs> I say I was intending to like take a nap before the show, and then I just like. Fully slept. Z z z z z z z z z. Yeah, boy, that was a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, so yeah, and I really kind uh, of I'm really grateful that we can able to where we were able to adjust the schedule. No problem on my end. So I'm just glad I'm glad something worked out. So yeah. in the um, Kuzong, stick around. I still have some questions for you after this, but in the meantime, folks. Like I said, we will be going on a hiatus for BWB. We will resume on September 6th. So until then, I want to thank everyone for stopping on by. On behalf of myself, Mr. Ben, and Twilight is Magic, farewell. Bye, guys.